for watching 7 Action News. Always taking action for you. She has kept quiet for years now since that text message scandal that brought down Kwame Kilpatrick. Now Christine Beatty is talking for the first time, telling her side of the story about her affair with a former mayor and her time in jail. Beatty is opening up in the upcoming November issue of Essence Magazine. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich got an advanced copy. It's the first time Christine Beatty is telling her side of the story, and she's spilling all the intimate moments with Essence Magazine. 7 Action News obtained an advanced copy of the article that runs in the November issue. Beatty talks about her real life scandal and being totally consumed by her affair with former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. The article is written in first person by Beatty. He made me laugh. He made me cry. He propelled me to ecstasy and reduced me to tears, wrote Beatty. The former mayor's chief of staff talks about how the two shared their first kiss at Cast Tech where they met. She writes they didn't become intimate until his first year in office in 2002. Despite what that sounds like, I didn't sleep my way into the position, wrote Beatty. She wrote they knew the two had crossed the line, but there was no turning back. We would find any spare time we could to be together, at the office or at my home, when my children weren't there, wrote Beatty. She talked about how ashamed she felt being around Kwame's wife Carlita at the Manoogian mansion. What type of woman was I to go into another woman's house and smile in her face while I was sleeping with her husband, wrote Beatty. She said her and Kwame tried many times to stop having sex, but failed. When she found out the story was about to break about the text messaging scandal, she cried to her pastor and her family. That night, I had to have some of the most painful conversations of my life, going house to house, telling my family the news. She wrote about going to jail for lying under oath during the whistleblower trial, and how when she got out of jail, she had nothing, and none of her former colleagues would help. She moved to Atlanta and wrote that she still struggles to get her career back on track. But there is one thing she says she learned from everything. I've also come to understand that while you can't help how you feel, you are in control of your actions. Kwame Kilpatrick will be back in court next Thursday. He will be formally sentenced for running a criminal enterprise out of the city. As we told you yesterday, prosecutors are recommending the former mayor spend at least 28 years in prison for his crimes.